Have you ever wondered about the science behind men losing hair or how doctors are able to grow hair back? Joining us this morning is Dr. Bob Basu with the answers. First question, male pattern baldness, you know, and sure. lose it. What causes that? I mean, I've heard you wear a cap, you wear a hat, you know, you're going to grind away at some of those hair follicles. Right. Well, what it's all, all about is <clears throat> really genetics. So there's a myth that you get the genes for your mom, and that's not true. It's completely random. And the reason why there's male pattern baldness is that we all have testosterone, and testosterone in our bodies, a small percentage of it becomes what's called dihydrotestosterone, or DHT. Well, in the hair follicles, there's a receptor, and when that DHT hits that receptor, it can make the hair follicle fall asleep, and that's where male pattern baldness occurs. And it's a complete genetic thing, and it's random who gets those genes where the hair is going to be susceptible to loss. So there's been all kinds of treatments mm -hmm. in the past, sure. and then some of them have had a lot of downsides too. Sure. What are the, the newest efforts to try to help with male pattern baldness and for women who suffer from this as well? Sure, absolutely. So the statistics show that over 50 million men and 30 million women in the United States are experiencing hair loss. And they actually surveyed men that over 65% of men out there said that their number one aesthetic cosmetic concern was hair loss. So the traditional options were what's called follicular unit transplantation or the strip met method where we took an incision, it required a scalpel, and we made an incision and took a strip of hair from the back of the hair, and then we facilitated the hair transplantation. Now, fast forward to today, we're talking about Neograft, which is follicular unit extraction, or FUE. And what Neograft is, it's basically a minimally invasive technique that can be done under local in just one day, half a day or one day, and we use a, a special automated device that extracts the hair follicles from the back of the scalp and then we carefully transplant and rebuild the hairline and fill in areas uh, where there's hair loss. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about Neograft is it can be done under local. It's a same day procedure, so patients drive in, they go home. Uh, the results are fantastic and it's done much more efficiently and the recovery is much better than the traditional options that are out there. Okay, so what would you say would be the benefits of this as opposed to what was done before this came into the medical field? Sure, so the, the reliability, the satisfaction rates from Neograft FUE are greater than 97%. And to make put that into perspective, that's even higher than most common procedures such as Botox. So patients are really happy with the outcomes. The advantages of this newer technique is that there's no need for a linear scar, so the donor sites are hidden. There, it's done completely under local anesthesia, so there's no need for a major general anesthesia procedure. Patients can go home, and the recovery, most men and women are comfortable to go back to work in about a week. Uh, if you're doing work where you have to be on stage or in front of a camera, sometimes I'll recommend maybe taking 10 days off from work. So it's a fairly quick recovery, mm -hmm. and patients start seeing results once the hair, hair starts, starts growing, growing back, back within, within three to six, six months, months, and they're really seeing their best final results results in 9 to 12 months when you give time for the hair to grow back. Well, it sounds like there's a lot of promise with it. And Dr. Basu, mm -hmm. thanks for coming in. And we sure. enjoyed looking at the animation as well, seeing yes. how exactly it works. Thanks so much. Thanks very much. Good to be with you.